Hey guys, it's Di, and I wanted to share our beginning of the month Target stock up with you guys. And this was kind of a moderate stock up. I was very limited on time today, so I tried to just run in, run out, while I didn't have the kids with me, and get the majority of the bulky items. And then also just get items I knew I needed. So I'm going to be making probably some more trips to Target to get things over the course of the month. But this is our kind of main stock up at the beginning of the month and I did it at the same time as the grocery haul which probably would be posted just previous to this. So I will show you very quickly what is in our stock up and this is baby and household items. So this is pretty much everything and I can't entirely remember. I think it was about $50 worth of household things and about a hundred maybe a little bit more of baby things. So I will just go ahead and jump right into it and show you what we got at Target for our beginning of the month stock up. And no, the cat is not included. <laughs> All right, starting over here, there are some pull-ups. These are the nighttime ones. We're still needing these at nighttime for Bella. Been getting the 3T, 4T for her because it seems to work out pretty well because she's right on the line in between the two sizes. So at night, it seems to work well to get these. She's staying dry some nights. Some nights she's not. Um, and so... That is that. I did go ahead and get another box of regular pull-ups, although we're not going through these as quickly, obviously, because we're not using them regularly. Uh, we just put them on over um, underwear if we're going out to appointments and events and that sort of thing. So I just wanted to have all the bins fully stocked, so I may only have to start buying these every other month, and then you know, hopefully eventually it'll just taper off to where we don't need them at all. So basically right now, they're just catching accidents. When we're out, going potty is still kind of dicey because she doesn't like all kinds of toilets. So uh, around the house, she's pretty much 100% potty trained. I think we probably had one, like, honest to goodness accident in the past week or so. But once we get out of the house, it's touch and go. You know? I understand the whole not really liking public restrooms thing, so I'm not pushing her on it. She says she has to go. We go try. She doesn't want to sit on a certain one. Then we're just leaving it for now. So that's kind of where we're at. And... Um, you know, I got one box. I definitely won't have to get any more this month, and I may not have to get any more next month because I did have about half a box left. But I wanted to stow, um, wanted to stock up all of our bins where we keep stuff. So also for the girls, I got these adorable Sophia the First shoes that they had. They now have these Sophia the First items at Target. I'm actually thinking that if the girls are super good, or if I can do it as a reward for Bella, you know, doing super awesome at potty training and that sort of thing, um, they might get this little dress as a reward this month, and so then they'll have this outfit for their dress up cabinet. So I thought these were really cute and they were kind of lacking on shoes, so I got the shoes for them. I also got Bella some more socks. She was needing socks in the 4T, 5T size. So I got some more of those. And then I got Natalie these super cute pajamas because she needed maybe like one more set of short sleeve pajamas. And these are little zebras with a necklace. She actually has a Gymboree set for that's long sleeve that looks like these. And then um, short sleeve with long pants back here. So those will be good and should hopefully get her through the summer as far as pajamas go. Back here there's two apple juices. So just got those to have on hand. I got them honeycomb cereal, which is the cereal they like to use. And also a really great deal, they had 25 packs of these Simply Balanced Fruit Strips and Pomegranate for $2.50. And the like 15 count or 14 count was the exact same size. So these are a really good deal. I also got some Chatter Bunnies for a snack there. I got this Suave Kids uh, conditioner and fairly fairy berry strawberry to try out just to see if it works any well you know any better than the, like the baby conditioners I didn't know if it would be a little bit more heavy duty since it's kids or what and then I also got these are the toothbrushes that Natalie uses they're just like the little Colgate animals she also uses like the Winnie the Pooh ones too but I got her these this time around and then these are the up and up toothbrushes that Bella uses. It's a four pack. I keep two brush toothbrushes for them on a few different levels of the house. So uh, we always have a couple of them in use at a time. And then there uh, is some training toothpaste, three months to four years. This is what we use for both the girls. And then I also got, this is household, some Scrubbing Bubbles toilet cleaner. Super exciting, I'm sure. And then this is a Diaper Genie refill. Um, I didn't have to get as many of these because, you know, obviously we're slowing on how much we have to use the Diaper Genies. And Natalie's the only one in diapers now, so we're not using the Diaper Genies as much. The only, only thing Bella's is really used for is nighttime pull-ups, so um, I'm not having to buy those as much either. So all moving in the right direction and then I got another one of these calming hair detanglers we use these at night to 
spritz the girls here with them to brush it out I got this conditioner a L'Oreal Evercream this is what I use I love this conditioner so I was just finishing or uh, getting another one of those and then I got this let me shine you put this in your dishwasher we have to use this here because we have extremely hard water that has a lot of different sediment issues the water here is horrible anyways um, I have to use this let me shine to get our dishes to not look bad and then there's this jet dry finish I also use that in the jet dry area on the dishwasher and there are some gallon freezers at block bags I use those for food and also the new thing that I found in some sandwich bags when we're going out I put Bella's extra clothes in a gallon Ziploc bag and I put a little sandwich baggie down inside the gallon bag and so that way if we're out and she has an accident then I put the wet things in this one and then it keeps it away from all the other things. Back here we have a size 3 box of diapers and this is the size that Natalie's in so she goes through about one of these a month. I also had some toilet tissue on hand. And then I also got these paper plates for today. We're having a cookout at our house and having family over, so I thought those would be good to have on hand. I got some of these disinfecting wipes and the fresh scent. I used to use the Clorox brand of these, but I actually switched to the Up and Up brand because Clorox changed their formulation and how the wipes felt. And so <laughs> Bella's awake from a nap. <laughs> Wow, there's a canopy on the back of the house. We're getting ready for a cookout. And so I like these better now. They work a lot better. And then the last thing over here, I got these for our master bedroom bed. This is just a queen size uh, mattress cover. I was needing an additional one of these to try out. The ones that we have right now are by sleep number they're actually we have a sleep number bed so they're actually by sleep number so I thought I would try this is just like a target brand one and a lot more economical I guess you could say than the sleep number one so I wanted to try out one of these because one of our sleep number ones is on its way out so this was $29.99 and just to give you an idea the ones that sleep number are like $80 so it's a quite a bit of difference so these are all of the items that we got for our beginning of the month stock up at Target so that is everything for our beginning of the month Target stock up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and are having a great pre-4th of July party weekend. And I will see you guys in a future video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.